Hello, hello! My name is Callista, and welcome back to Danganronpa 2. Goodbye, despair. In the last episode, the students were finally coming to the realization that Nagito had to be involved in his own death. The Monokuma panels that set up the fire, they were blocking the door. That was the only way in or out of the warehouse, meaning whoever set all this up couldn't have left. All of the students were outside except for Nagito. He is the only one that could have possibly done it. Now, before we get into the episode proper, two things. This is episode 101. I wish I had realized that the last episode I recorded was episode 100. I don't necessarily keep track of, you know, what number episode I'm recording at the time. So we have broken through 100 episodes and I'm not even on chapter six yet. With Trigger Happy Havoc, I'm pretty sure I was just starting the final class trial, so that is... Woo, flippin' it. Secondly, this episode is going to be really late today. I know it's going to be really late today because uh, I am recording this 15 minutes after this episode was supposed to go live. I'm not gonna lie, I've not been doing so well mentally. <laughs> I have not been having a great time as of late. Oh well, we have to keep moving forward, so uh, my, my apologies at how late this episode is gonna be, but it should be coming out today, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, please. What if it was Nagito? Why'd you bring him up? He's the victim, you know. He's also the culprit. He wasn't just the victim. Maybe. Huh? Not just the victim? What does that mean? It means he done it, simp. It means he done it. He was the victim. And he was the perpetrator, too. Maybe. Are you saying this was a suicide? D don't be stupid. Well, it, it wasn't a suicide. It was... I, I guess you could call it an assisted suicide, but the person assisting didn't realize? Is, is there a term for that? I don't know. His body was covered in torture wounds. Or did you already forget? That was self-inflicted. Are, are you saying those were all self-inflicted? Yup. But Nagito might do something like that, don't you think? Uh, that's not the issue. He was tied up, remember? He wasn't. One of his hands was free. Even for a creep like Nagito, it'd be impossible for him to tie up his own arms and legs. Yeah, you're right. Y yeah as long as you understand. It seems we need to discuss how Nagito was able to tie himself up. N need to discuss? That's not necessary at all. No matter how much you think about it, it's clearly impossible. Like he said, it seems impossible if you think about it, but... I feel like I'm overlooking something. It has to be the burned rope. It has to be. To actually tie up your own arms and legs. That's obviously impossible! Tying just the legs is one thing, but... Tying both arms would be impossible. Except they weren't both tied. You couldn't do much with the free arm. It'd be impossible if you were by yourself. Mm. How about if you use your teeth? No. Or if you use your front tail? What? Dirty joke! Is that a dirty joke? I... I'm sorry. I'm just... I'm just completely entranced by the front tail comment, and I'm just... I'm not gonna say what I'm thinking, I'm just gonna say the word dolphins, and then I'm gonna leave it there. If our assumption that Nagito committed suicide is correct, Nagito should have tied himself up too. That's okay, right? It has to, to be To actually tie up your own arms and legs. I... That's obviously impossible! 
Tying just the legs is one thing, but... I think it's the first Tying one. both arms would be impossible. You couldn't do much with the free arm. It'd be impossible if you were by yourself. How about if you use your teeth? This is the only one that makes sense. Or if you it, use your front tail. It's the only one that directly connects. Dirty joke! Is that a dirty joke? Yeah. I think I know what to do. To actually tie up your own arm? No, that's wrong! Hold on a sec. Isn't that premise flawed? What? I mean, it's no mistake that his arms and legs were... No, it shouldn't have been both of his arms. The rope on his right arm was completely burnt up. Based on that, you can't say he was tied up. That was just burned by the fire. He should have been tied up before then. If it was burned by the fire, then why weren't there singe marks on his clothes? It burned because of the fire. Like you said, it might look like that. But that was part of the trap. There's concrete evidence that proves it. The proof that the burnt rope on Nagito's right arm is a trap. Um, yeah, it's his sleeve, it's the clothes. I see! Take a close look at his right sleeve. Even though the rope was burnt up, his sleeve wasn't burned at all. Wouldn't you agree? A burn like this, no matter how you think about it, is unnatural. That rope was burned in advance so it would look like it was burned in the fire. Then Nagito's right arm wasn't tied up, right? He was able to move it freely, right? Yeah, that should be the case. Hajime, that's awesome! I'll let you cop a feel if you want. A Akane, no. Akane, we're in the middle of a class trial. This is highly inappropriate for multiple... Uh, on multiple levels, Akane! Akane, you should not give it away for free! Make sure they pay you first! Sonia! Sonia! One, don't encourage her, but would... would and... What is going on in Nova Selic? What is going on in Nova Selic? That's definitely wrong. Fine. I just gotta get a Benjamin from him before I let him touch me, right? What is this? I want to talk about murder! That's not what I meant. I'm talking about Nagito. Thank you! I mean, even if his right hand wasn't tied up, the knife was still stabbed into it, you know? It's impossible to stab a knife into your right hand with your right hand. Ah, that much is obvious. Hajime, you, you tricked me! Give me back that Benjamin! I never paid you! What? I... Wait, wait you... You never paid us! I am... Akane! Akane! Not only did she try to charge me, now she wants the money back? What the heck? Hold on. There should be a way. Then hurry up and spill it! If it's something lame, I'll make you give back the Benjamin with 10,000% interest! You didn't give me any- what- what is the point of this? What is the point of this? Um, a way to stab yourself in your right hand using only your right hand. It's okay, there's definitely an answer for this. The knife was- it, it was in the plushie. Yep. Where was it? There. Because it had a knife size Even if Nagito's right hand was free. How could he stab his right hand with his right hand? Like if he threw the knife down. into the air and let the knife fall, no. could he stab his hand that way? Is he a throwing knife expert? Maybe he propped the knife somehow? Yes. I agree with that. The life-size Monokuma plushie. He must have used that to prop the knife. Makes sense. That's why there was a big hole in the plushie's stomach. He inserted the knife handle into that hole to prop it up. Then he slammed his hand onto it. If that's it, he had to place the plushie near him. And it also explains the mysterious blood on the plushie. So the blood on the plushie came from Nagito after he stabbed the knife into his own right hand. 
I... I see. So, that's the trick. But for a moment, I seriously thought Monokuma died or something. Oh, we could only be so lucky. A bleeding plushie is super scary. It's got the same fear factor as a doll whose hair grows too long. After stabbing his hand, he no longer needed the plushie, so he cast it off toward the fire's origin point. He probably thought the fire would incinerate it and destroy the evidence. So what do you think now, Fuyuhiko? I get what you're saying about the wound on his right hand, but there's still one huge problem. The spear. Basically, you're saying Nagito committed suicide by impaling himself with a spear, right? If you think about the order, getting killed by the spear should have been the last thing to happen to Nagito. If that's true, how is that possible? He can't grab a spear with his right hand if a knife is stabbed into it and his left hand was all tied up. Except his left hand is remarkably clean, and if you look at the end of the whip doodad, there's a break in the blood. He was holding on to it. Then he probably took the spear first, and as he endured the pain, he stabbed the knife into his right hand. Th there is a limit to his constitution. If you got penetrated by something so big and thick, you would die instantly. Sonia. Sonia, freezing, Sonia. Don't. Don't. I see you don't. I'm sorry, I didn't catch all that. D -d bitch. B don't. Don't. You fucking simp. Like I said, if you got penetrated by something so big and thick, you would die instantly. I'm so tempted to have the title of this be Big and Thick. I'm so tempted. Ah, say it one more time. I need to record it. For reasons. So, I swear, someone, someone bitch slap this man. Akane, Akane, use your front tail. Come on, Akane. Hey, bastard, you better cut it out. Thank you for you, Hiko. Like she said, in that condition... It's very difficult to stab yourself with a spear. It'd be hard to use a spear with a knife stab into your right hand while your left hand is tied up. So you're saying it's impossible? Not quite. But no matter what I think, I can't believe Nagito's death was caused by someone else. Oh, darling, it was caused by you. You just don't realize it. I also agree with that. To think that one of us could kill someone with such cruelty, I could never believe that. You say you can't believe it? <laughs> you just don't want to believe it, right? But that's why you keep getting betrayed over and over again, right? Same goes for this time, too. You just shut your mouth. It's against the rules to interfere with everyone. Oh, Usami, you tell him. You tell him, girl. You're my favorite. Go on, Usami. If you even think about doing anything, I have a plan of my own. Fuck you. Ah! Mamonami's sassing me! But it's just as Monokuma said. We've been betrayed over and over again so far. So... This might also be the same. Calling this a suicide takes too much for granted, and it's too convenient. Then are you saying there is a killer among us, Kazuichi? Uh, of course that doesn't include Miss Sonia and me. As Kazuichi said, it's true we've been constantly betrayed. But even if I'm betrayed again, I still want to believe in everyone. No matter how many times I may be betrayed, I still want to believe in everyone. I also want to believe that there's no killer, but suicide is unimaginable. Do you really think so? But you said it too. It'd be impossible for him to stab himself with a spear in his condition. I did say difficult, but I never said impossible. Huh? I feel that there's... some way he could have stabbed himself with that spear. Oh, there absolutely is. What kind of way? I don't know. You don't know? It's impossible to figure out by myself. 
So let's think about it together. There we go. Like, why are you leaving it to Chiaki? You all have brains. That's how. We made it this far up till now. Everyone working together. She's right. We've made it through several ordeals up till now by doing that. Then, even now... All right, let's do this. Okay, what have we got? Okay, make your argument. I... I feel like it should be the blood on the left hand. How did Nagito stab himself with a spear? Let's work together and think this through. When the spear stabbed Nagito... Hmm... His right hand was covered by the knife, right? He was only yes. able to move his left hand. But his left hand was also tied up. Then that rules out his left hand. Mm. If that's the case, the only other way is... He used his teeth? A front or tail? Or maybe he used his front tail. God damn it, Akane. I know guys have tails that get hard when they're grabbed. <laughs> what are you saying? A blushing Miss Sonia is freaking awesome! What is this? What? I, I swear down, Akane, Akane is a little off during the trials, but I swear down she's never been this off. I, I swear down she might occasionally be like, hey, you did it, you can touch my boob pillows. But like, I swear down she hasn't repeatedly been like, front tail? Front tail? Has anyone got a front tail? Like, I... What? 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 If Nagito committed suicide, then he must have used that spear to stab himself. Even if his arms and legs were tied up, there's no doubt he used some part of his body. Yeah, it has to be the, the blood on the left hand. The only thing he could have used is... How did Nagito stab himself with a spear? Let's work together and think this through. When the spear stabbed Nagito, his right hand was covered by the knife, right? Yeah. He was I... only able to move his left hand. Which but his left it? hand was also tied up. I think up. it's coming up. Then that rules out his left hand. No, that's wrong. <laughs> Hold on. It's still too early to dismiss the possibility that he used his left hand. Why? I mean, his left hand was tied up, you know? But there was something off about his left hand. The blood stain on the palm of his hand. Don't you think it looked somewhat strange? He only had blood on the lower area of his palm. Beyond that point, the blood stain suddenly cuts off, right? When the blood splattered, that's as far as it reached, right? But blood doesn't just cut off. If it cuts off, that means something blocked its path, and that something has then been removed. Blood splatter, it looks natural. Not like a straight line like that. That settles the description of that blood stain, but it's not the only unnatural blood stain. Look, there's blood on the back of his hand, around the middle joints of his fingers. Like you said, it looks like an unnatural blood stain, but what's wrong with that? We might need to think and use our imaginations for a bit. If there's blood on his palm, and the back of his hand, what was his left hand doing as the blood splattered? What was Nagito's left hand doing when the blood splattered? Uh, it means it was gripping. I see! When the blood splattered, he was probably gripping with his left hand. That's why there's such a strange looking blood stain on his palm, and the back of his hand. Was he grabbing his front tail? N no, seriously, what is the point of this? I, I, I get that it's supposed to be funny. It's supposed to be comedy. I just don't find it funny because it, it keeps happening and it's just disruptive. <gasps> Perish the thought! He was obviously grabbing the spear! Now that you mention it, compared to the rest of his body, the wounds on his left arm are pretty mild. He probably made his wounds mild on purpose, so he could keep his strength while he gripped the spear. But even if he held the spear with his tied up left hand, it'd be impossible for him to stab himself. 
that's right. That's the problem. Hey, Chiaki, what do you think? Hey, don't tell me you're getting sleepy. At times like this, you should always strike from a good angle. Just like fixing an old TV. Oh, I got it. Maybe. Huh? Really? Yeah, like I thought. It's no mistake that Nagito was gripping the spear. I think. However, what's important is what section of the spear he was gripping. Just so. Which section of the spear was he holding on to? It was the cord. Yeah, the cord. I see! That's it. Instead of the handle, Nagito must have been holding on to the cord. There was a metal weight at the tip of the cord, but there were bloodstains on that part too. Plus, the joint between the weight and the cord had a bloodstain shape like it was cut off by something. Isn't the size of that cut-off section about the same size as a human fist? Ah, oh, you're right! So this is the part Nagito was gripping, huh? And then, the blood that was supposed to end up here... ...ended up getting on Nagito's left hand! But why is it so important to know which part of the spear he was gripping? Because that tells you how he stabbed himself. You're not gonna say he gripped the tip of the cord, swung the spear around and stabbed himself, right? Well, I mean... A, a kind of. He threw it over the girder and then it was just a matter of letting go. That is where the clue to solve this mystery resides. Right, Chiaki? I am sorry. Of course this mystery will not be solved that easily. Hmm. Nagito was gripping the cord extending from the butt of the spear with his left hand. But from there, how would he stab himself in the stomach with the spear? Hmm. Hmm. It seems we are stuck. Shall we have tea time? Can can you have tea time? Monokuma, can we have a recess? At a time like this... How about we stick to... The plan to think one step at a time instead of expecting the answers all at once. That's a long plan name. One step at a time? What does that mean? Let's focus on the spear first. Namely, where it was, and how it was positioned just before it impaled Nagito. How it was positioned? Nagito was facing up, and the spear was stabbed through his stomach. So, if it's just before that... That's it. Could it be? The state of the spear, and the fact that Nagito was holding the tip of the cord attachment... If I put those together and think about it, I should be able to figure out where the spear was and what state it was in before it stabbed Nagito. Okay, what have we got? Oh, logic dive. Oh, Lord. Okay. Again, let me see. Again, I just, I always need a refresher. We can use A and D for move, though. Accelerate is control, brake is right, jump is left. Right, left, right, left. Okay. Okay, question one. Where was the spear just before it impaled him? Um, it was above him. Yeah, the spear was above him. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. No. No, thank you. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Again, I... Just I don't do well at these. Woo! 
Okay, question two. Besides the spear, what else was above Nagito? It was the, uh, the girder. Over to blue. Going well so far. <laughs> These always make me so nervous, though. Question three. What item connects both the spear and the ceiling girder? It's the rope in his left hand. His right hand was stabbed. No. Oh, bugger. I've... It was the cord. The cord. Yep, I'm gone. I'm gone. I got confused. I didn't read that correctly, god damn. I thought it was going like, which hand was holding the cord? Oh, that is... That's a bugger, but oh well. There we go. It's all coming together. The spear impaled Nagito as he was laying face up. It must have been perpendicular to him just before that. Perpendicular? In the middle of the air? If Nagito did that all by himself, did he have some sort of ESP? Not quite. That'd be awesome, but he probably used the ceiling girder directly above him. Nagito probably slung the cord over the ceiling girder and using that as a support. He hoisted the spear directly above him. And if Nagito let go of the cord, the spear would have fallen and impaled him while he was laying face up. I noticed a slight red streak on the ceiling girder. It probably got smeared there during the setup. The blood on the cord probably rubbed off on the ceiling girder as the spear was falling. So, how about it? Using this method, Nagito could have impaled himself with the spear. Are you serious? He... really committed suicide? Like that? But he didn't. He... probably chose that spear so he could commit suicide like that. If someone else did this, there's no reason they'd go to all this trouble just to kill someone with a spear. I agree. When I was investigating this case, I kept thinking over and over how strange it was. Why did the killer use the knife and the spear so differently? So you're saying he needed to use that spear to pull off his trick? Then, this is for real? It is and it isn't, because it's one massive trap. He really committed suicide? Every single wound on his body, that was all him? Not just that, he did all that while he was gripping a spear? That spear should not have stabbed Nagito until the very end. Oh, I, I wasn't expecting another picture. Oh, no, now I don't know what to go with for the thumbnail. Big and thick or whatever it was or something to do with this. Oh, damn. Which means Nagito wounded himself while he was gripping that spear, right? Did he put the duct tape on his mouth too? He probably covered his own mouth so we wouldn't hear him screaming in pain. Did he need to go that far? That's beyond crazy! Why would he do that to himself? He was probably trying to get us to make a mistake. By committing a suicide that looked like a murder, he was trying to steer us toward the wrong answer. His goal was to get us all executed. And on that bombshell, I'm going to bring this episode to a close right here. In the next one... Oh... <laughs> Because here's the thing, this isn't the whole truth. I know this isn't the whole truth. Chiaki is the one who killed him. It's not so simple. So I I do wonder how they're going to get to that conclusion. Still, we're going we're gonna to find out in the next episode. But until then, 
please remember to like if you enjoyed, leave a comment below, and if you wanted to subscribe, it would be very much appreciated. I've been Callista, thanks for watching, and see you in the next episode.